<clears throat> hey cancer friends how's it going it's dharma here to do another tarot spread for you for about a week ahead guess what i got a new deck i'm so excited um i've been working on a lot of spirit animal stuff lately um for those of you who may know i currently run with the the stag there's my little stag man back there um stag talks about patience and nobility king of the forest stuff right but what happens when you collect animal totems is that after you kind of learn and master the lessons of one you get another one and i've been called to wolf pack medicine lately um, if you're interested on how to find your spirit animal go to my blog dharmajane.com and there is all kinds of info in there about how to get your spirit animal and how to work with that so calling in guys angels anyone from the highest good oh this is called the animal wisdom tarot so it is tarot but it has animals on it um by dawn something or other okay so the two of cups just fell out it's pretty exciting so who do we have coming forward for cancer for the week ahead oh they shuffle so good okay Mm, bottom of the deck is oh my god I love these cards can we see what I just saw crossroads okay first of all let's talk about the salamander salamander um spirit medicine is about love I did this wasn't a regression it was just I, I have this like spirit place that I can go to when I'm practicing meditation and it's like the woods and I see really cool stuff. And I was meeting with the spirit of love, which on my blog, go check it out. And when that was happening, this salamander came out of the water and wrapped around my wrist and like left this like bracelet of pink pearls, I guess. But the salamander is the representation of love. And so here we stand with the two of fire at a crossroads. You know but but one thing i'd like to note here about this first off you have the yin and the yang right and so it's like do you go toward the yin or do you go toward the yang which one do you do and um but this salamander is not facing forward he already knows right so the love has already been established and the reason I say that is because look at you got the honeybees. This is the lovers. I love this card. Oh, two peas in a pod, two bees in a hive. Kindred spirits, people who are willing to work together, people who are are for the same cause, they're from the same tribe. It's just these bees belong together. And that's what I'm saying is that the salamander already knows that. Already knows. It's not like a surprise, right? Um, but then you have the, right after that, oh my God, this is the chariot, Pegasus. Get up on that horse, the seven, right? I love that. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these cards. Look at that. This, you can't tell a Pegasus what to do. You can't. They're going to fly. If you try and ride them, they'll fly away. You try and trap them, they will fly away. But this, this, so this is you, right? This is the Cancer card. Do you love it? Because I do. Okay. And it's like, it's like Cancer knows what to do. If we're talking about Cancer being the one, we, it, it's like, yeah, we're at a crossroads, but I think, I don't think it's a crossroads to decide who. I think it's a crossroads to decide how. Because somehow or another, look at these happy hippos. <laughs> they're just fat with joy. So happy. And they're all swimming around together. And they're nice and cool. And they are just, you know, God, you have the Queen of Cups under here too. I got to stop pulling from the bottom of the deck because all the cards are amazing, right? So, so that's what's at the bottom of the, <laughs> five minutes in and we're just doing the bottom of the deck. We got love. We got love on the horizon. Look, there's two horizons there. You know but something needs to change in order to bring in that abundance yeah so we have the seven of pentacles we have planted the seeds and they have been nurtured and they have been watered right 
but now it's time to be able to pick one of those. And here we have, this is doe medicine, not it's not stag. So, but the doe is about being cautious. Like, do I go out into the field? You know, you want to, if anybody remembers when Bambi's mom went out into the field, God, be careful, right? And so there, so there, there is a little bit of caution around this, but at the same time, it reminds you that you have already planted these seeds. Um, I saw, I, I would talk about this girl all the time, the saltwater heals Tara. She was like talking about bringing in your abundance and we're like, Oh, I don't know. It's not meant for me. It's not meant for me. And she's like, girl, did, did you not apply for this job? Why are you surprised that you're getting it? So it's like, you've planted the seeds, you did the thing, you did it. So why are we, why are we questioning when it comes to us that it's for us? Right. Did you, or did you not apply for the job? Could be a job that's what we're talking about but did you or did you not ask the universe to bring you this person because there they are what's your what's your problem go for them Ooh, see did i not just say you manifested this shit right this is the coyote who goes to the cliff and is like oh i love this bitch <laughs> right right howled it out to the moon was very 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 adamant and serious and it's the master manifester that we're talking about here this is somebody who knew exactly what they wanted and did whatever they had to do to bring it in and they did mm. but we have the death card which is the moth look at that oh yeah death transformation to the king of fire the tiger this is like someone who that's that might be why they're at a crossroads they're like am i gonna do this because of passion am i gonna stay in a place of passion or am i gonna stay in a place of or i'm gonna move to a place of cups now the other thing to mention about the king of fire is that they take action right they do what they need to do. The tiger will find something that it wants to eat or devour or have, and they will wait and they will prowl and then they will go do it. But that is a, that, that brings complete change. I also want to talk about the moth being drawn to the light. So there might be something about this person because i don't have a masculine and a feminine yet there might be something about this person to where their light is so bright that they the light is so bright or don't dim your shine like a moth to a flame moth and flame right like a moth to a flame i'm going to title this that like a moth to a flame boom there it is that's the title moth to a flame Woo -wee. so moving on to um the brian froud's fairies oracle first card out the lady of the harvest so this is like two death cards so there's something substantial that is changing this week absolutely substantial that's changing now i should also mention that's this too i mean we planted the seeds we did all the cropping and, and the the farming and all the watering and all of the things but at some point it is time to pull in your harvest and eat it like there's a lot of eating references that we have here they just want to devour it, eat it, <clears throat> because we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and watching and planning and trying to figure it out. But the lady of the heart, and so you might be dealing with a uh, Libra um, or Virgo. That's harvest time. Maybe late Leos, third deacon Leos. But there's one little critter that I'm just noticing for the first time and they're grabbing their little pumpkin and they're gonna like just leave 
Something about eating words. Eating your words. Who else do we have coming out this week for cancer? Oh, yeah. Like a moth to a flame. You see what I'm saying? This person, whoever, this is Mickle the Muckle. Whoever this is makes, so here we have your masculine, right? This is going to be your masculine, and I think this is going to be your feminine, okay? You have a doe, but he's all hard-faced and all raw, super alpha, and she's all like a doe. She's fun. She's funny. She makes people laugh. She is she makes this lion feel like it's okay to experience joy you know like whoever they've been with or whatever they've been doing they've been dealing with a joy thief and here come cancer or the feminine and this tiger's like oh yeah i'm gonna eat that that's my dinner but, but we have here the Indy card. So there's another Libra card. But this is like, this is the same as this. I don't know what to do. This pearl is way bigger than that pearl. But I've been working on this pearl for a long time. So which one do I do? You have multiple reference here, references here of someone having the choice to go this away or that away. And which way do they choose, right? They want to choose the one that's going to be unconditional. I mean, look at his face. He's like, yeah, I love her. <laughs> and she, with her wings being all tattered up and broken, I mean, she does look a little doe-faced, right? I just heard the word naive. But also innocent. I think it's important to mention that this feminine here doesn't want anything bad for this masculine. She just wants to love him, but she wants him to love her back. And that might be kind of what we're dealing with here is the getting the love back in return because this tiger usually doesn't make his presence known unless he's coming out to attack, right? It's not like you see a bunch of tigers hanging out playing. And so, and so, and then we have Arvel the Parrot. At some point in the week ahead, we have some kind of conversation that, and I think what the conversation is going to do is going to drop one of the balls because there's lots of, lots of indices here of two choices. You got the lovers. That's a choice in love. You have crossroads. You have the indie. But it's important to mention that with the King of Fire and also with the Chariot, we have movement. So this week, you're going to see big movement and you're going to hear about it. Okay. So, excuse me. So I want to see what this is all about and where we're going with this. Um, so if you would like to follow me to the extended the link for that is in the box below and for those of you who are subscribers thank you please don't forget to like subscribe and share i really do appreciate it uh and until next week have a good one bye